Animal TTC here. I'm going to do a couple uh, box break recap as well as some eBay pickups and then a purchase from a fellow YouTuber. Uh, we'll start out with the uh, eBay pickups. I got a Heinz Ward calling all captains out of Crown Royale jersey piece. And that's numbered out of $2.99. Uh, Frank Lewis autograph jersey card uh, to go with my uh, old school players uh, signed rookie cards PC that I'm trying to put together for Steelers. Um, Gary Dunn, uh, same idea. Lauren Twos. And finally a Robin Cole. Uh, this was done in ballpoint pen, so it's it's not as clear, but it's still there, so it'll work. Um, <clears throat> and then for the uh, YouTube pickups. I got this and another card um, from 21 R Armo 21, I believe it is. Yep, and I'll put his link below. Uh, pretty easy transaction. Cut me a really good deal on these two cards, so I was really happy about that. I received them in a good amount of time, so really good guy to work with. Uh, this is a Terry Bradshaw on card uh, auto jersey. Number 35 of 50 out of 5 star. And then also out of 5 star, a uh, Heinz Ward triple jersey booklet, uh, numbered 35 of 35. I was a little concerned about making this purchase just because Tops as a whole this year has uh, kind of been a disappointment for me. Uh, the uh, high-end cards or mid-grade cards that they're putting out there, uh, they had a lot of QC problems, lots of chipping and, and damage to the card. Uh, so I, I really wasn't impressed with Tops offering this year just for that reason alone. Uh, you know, one of the things that bothers me is when I you know, you're going on eBay and stuff like that and you come across cards... Uh, from Exquisite and Tops Five Star and uh, Supreme, you know, you'll see things in the description like chipping, but this has become something acceptable to the community or expected. And, and for me personally, like uh, they're not expected nor acceptable. Uh, when you pay a premium for a pack of cards, you expect uh, the quality of card uh, that uh, is warranted by that price you're paying. So, yeah, no, um, we gotta. You know, we got to let the money talk and start saying, you know, no, we won't buy your product. And, you know, if this is the caliber of, uh, of care you're going to give the packaging and such, you know. But uh, I, I, that's my little rant on that. Um, moving along, um, we'll, we'll go to the box breaks. Um, first up here, I've got uh, some Leaf Limited, uh, 2011. Uh, I'll just kind of flip through these real quick. Uh, I've got a, a Jason Witten, number to 499. Ryan Terrain, 499. Uh, Don Maynard, legend, 499. Uh, Chris Durham, Phenom, uh, 499. Uh, Alan Page, this is actually short printed to uh, 25, or refractor to 25. Uh, then I got a, a Colt McCoy jersey card, uh, and this is number to 99. And a uh, Jamie Harper Jersey card, initial steps, uh, and that is also number two ninety nine, ninety eight of ninety nine, and then my big hit, uh, which I was pretty pumped about. Um, it's not exactly what I go for. It's not a Steeler guy, but it's definitely a solid hit. Unfortunately, I, I, I can't trade it or sell it because uh, my fiance and her family are big Green Bay fans, so it, it, it's not allowed to go anywhere. I'll probably be strung up, but uh, there we go. 
Aaron Rodgers uh, jersey autograph, uh, number 10 of 20. Uh, so that was that was definitely a decent hit in the uh, Leaf Limited. Uh, and then I did try out the Leaf autographed football mini helmets. There you go. And I'll just bring this up here. This is what I got, an old school Buffalo Bills Hall of Famer. I'm going to massacre this name, so just, uh, you know, bear with me. Um, but I believe it's pronounced, or at least that's what it looks like it's pronounced, is Joe Delamalari. Lur? Lur? Delamalari. Yeah. Anyway, um, so there you go. Kind of cool, you know. It's always nice to buy a product like this and, you know, get a Hall of Famer. I haven't seen a lot of his autographs on cards and stuff like that, so that kind of lends towards the idea that he doesn't sign a lot. Um, it's a Buffalo Bill, so of course it's it's not anything IPC, uh, but still, you know, a worthwhile purchase. Um, so anything uh, that wasn't Steelers in this video, with the exception of the Aaron Rodgers, is available for a trade or for sale. Um, just PM me with any offers. Uh, Steelers cards are what I'm looking for. And, uh... Yeah, that's about it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later.